So my name is Anastasia Greenberg, and I recently graduated from the Bachelor of Arts Honors Program in Psychology at York. I think the most important thing is uh, to be flexible in your path and not to have a career path uh, laid out in stone for yourself. Um, I, I started here at York in Business, and I really, didn't, even though I was doing well, I felt that I really wasn't passionate about what I was doing. And at the same time, I was taking a psychology uh, course as my elective, and I became really inspired and passionate about psychology. So I switched over to the program, even though I was told that psychology was not as practical as business. But in fact, uh, there were a lot of opportunities and career options that I have never thought of before actually being exposed to the program and being actually interested in what I was doing allowed me to accomplish a lot and open up a lot more doors uh, than would have been open for me if I continued in a program that I wasn't interested in. Um, I feel that in the Faculty of Health I had the opportunity uh, to meet and even personally work with, with some of the faculty here that I think are really inspiring and amazing people. Uh, a lot of the faculty at York, uh, specifically in the psychology program, are actually heavily involved in research. Uh, so they're really experts in their own areas and you have a chance to learn from these people. And I even had the opportunity to work uh, personally in the labs of some of these faculty members, such as, for example, uh, Dr. Ellen Bialystok, uh, who has really helped me learn about research uh, in a hands-on way and uh, really an experience that you can get from the classroom. Okay, well next year I'm going to be doing a master's in neuroscience program at the University of Alberta and I'll be studying memory research. Uh, well, I'm really interested in the intercross between psychology and biology. I find it extremely fascinating, particularly memory. I think that memory really uh, shapes our personal identities. Without our memories, uh, we really don't have an identity. And uh, in the aging population, Alzheimer's disease is a really uh, big problem. And I, currently, very little is understood about um, memory and biological processes. So I'm really interested in, in studying that.